Joe Torres is on the scene. Joe, we have not heard from you for a while. I'll be honest, your wife called in, told her over there you were okay. Where are you and, and what do you see? You know what, one? Joe, you're on. Hi, everyone. Uh, I don't know where to begin. Uh, my photographer, Glenn Mayrose, and I are, are safe. We're okay uh, back at St. Vincent's. Let's just tell you what we went through. Um, at the time that the first collapse occurred, we were two blocks away, uh, as close as police were going to allow us to get. Um, talking to fellow uh, police officers, FBI agents, etc., when all of a sudden we heard a rumble. Uh, we were just about underneath the World Trade Towers, and I think our first impression was, I thought it was that it was a subway. subway. We, subway. we thought it was a subway, and that if, in, if this was a terrorist attack, mm -hmm. that they had attacked, obviously, the World Trade Center up high, and that's, like an that something was going like to happen an down low. It felt like an earthquake. We hear this rumbling beneath our feet. We have no idea what it is. The first, someone says subway, and all of us put it together, and we say the attack is now, perhaps, the subway underneath us. We didn't know what direction to run. The crowd immediately started running up Church Street from Lower Manhattan. Follow the police. At this point, it's, it's anyone go where you think you can get safe. It was a full sprint for FBI officers, for NYPD, for fire, for press, for media, for, for uh, victims who had come out of the towers, um, not knowing what this is happening. Um, we ran five, six blocks. Um, and the smoke at this point, th this is where it's, it's like out of the movie because we turn around over our shoulders and the smoke at this point is coming closer and closer to us. And, and we don't know what's in the smoke, where the smoke has come from. And we have no idea at this point that the top of one of the towers is no longer there. We're still under the impression that this, this was perhaps a subway and that as we were running, the street below us shaking. was going to shake shaking. and come out from under our feet. About 10 o'clock this morning, photographer Glenn Mayrose and I stood at 7 World Trade Center, the Twin Towers still piercing the clear blue sky. Moments later, a thunderous rumble. We started running north on Church Street alongside police officers, FBI agents, emergency workers. We thought the ground below was about to explode. It seems now the sound we heard were the floors of the South Tower collapsing as the skyscraper tumbled to the ground. The expanding cloud of smoke and debris chasing us up the street. I screamed at Glenn, weighed down with his camera, batteries, and tapes to keep moving. Come on, Glenn, you can do it, Glenn. Five, six blocks later, we stopped, our hearts racing, people crying, others gasping for air. As we caught our breath, Kevin McNeil explained to us how he got off the 85th floor. It felt like a bomb went off. Smoke, everything was flying. We just had a hard, a hard time finding a way out. We found it, and we came. Still on Church Street, thinking we were safe, we did an interview with a Port Authority engineer who worked on the 72nd floor of number one World Trade Center. We never finished the interview. It was a very strong building, as you remember from the uh, blast the last time. So, I mean, but what, what does it take as an engineer to do this?